Welcome to the State Television Company of Western Armenia, today's broadcast. 30th of Severis, tribute to the 84 anniversary of General de Gaulle's call. The Book of Aragüler was included in the list of children's friendly books in Turkey. Getasha, one of the most populous villages of Artsakh with a rich historical and glorious past. Baku destroyed the Holy Church of St. Hambartsum in Berzor. Exhibition entitled History of Dragon Stone. The Yerevan State Chamber Choir won the first prize at the Hainovka Festival competition. The Treaty of Severis was signed by the British Empire, France, Italy, and Japan, and by the small states and alliances Armenia, Belgium, Greece, Hejaz, Poland, Portugal, Romania, and Serbo Crotinia state and Czechoslovakia. The representative of Armenia was Zaveti Saharonian. He wrote in his memoirs that the day of the Treaty of Severis on August 10 was the happiest day of his life. On August 10, Aaron arrived in Severis by Cairo at 4 p.m. The French Prime Minister Alexander Milleran arrived who was also the chairman of the conference. The organizer invited the Turkish delegation in, and there was unexpected silence. All this ceremony seemed to have an image of execution of death sentence. Aronian wrote that Turkey was the one being punished. The chairman of the conference invited the Turkish delegation to sign the treaty. First, Hadi Pasha approached, then Tefik Bey and Rashid Bey came to sign the treaty. Then the representative of England, France, Italy, and Japan signed the treaty, after which comes the turn of smaller allies to sign the treaty. As Armenia is the first in alphabetical order, Avetis Aronian was invited to sign. The first person to congratulate Aronian in the Palace of Severus was the Prime Minister of Greece. In less than 40 words, in 1940, on June 18, General de Gaulle, calling for the mobilization of the entire French armed and resistance forces, provided a spark of victory that made it possible to liberate France from German occupation. The Mayor of Canis, David Lisnar, skillfully described and remembered this act of resistance and its implications for the f future of France to the present days. At the ceremony, among others, were present the President of the National Council of Western Armenia, Mr. Armena Gabrahamian, was present as well as Jean Razarosian, the chairman of the Association of French Veterans and Armenian Resistance Warriors, and Mr. Vrej Abrahamian, the President of the National Association of Armenian Warriors. The Ministry of Family and Social Services of Turkey has identified 1,740 books as children's friendly books in Turkey. The list of those books includes Ara Güler, a famous Armenian from Constantinople. A good photographer can take pictures even with a sewing machine, he said. The list also includes the books Pollyanna, Charlie, and the Factory of Chocolate, who was Muhammad Ali, Leonardo da Vinci, and his super brain. It is noted that the special committee created to promote children's development studied their printed works available on the market and singled out the most useful books. The commission is made up of psychologists, child development specialists, sociologists, teachers, and social workers. In the central part of our south province of historical Armenia Getasha, one of the ancient Armenian villages of the region spread out in the deep valley of the Kurak River in the northern forest covered zone of the Mrav mountain range. The presence of preserved material culture monuments in the area of Getasha, which has a rich historical and glorious past, are evidence of the early medieval existence of the settlement. Some of the discovered archaeological findings refer to the pre-Christian period. Due to its large population and convenient position from the point of view of defense, Getasha during Armenian Tatar conflicts in 1905 and 1906 and during the joint operation in 1918-1920 of the Ottoman and Muslim forces, unlike many Armenian villages, was spared from attacks. Education, which also has a long history, was also given great importance in Getashen. The first boys' school was opened in 1864, and from 1906, the girls' school was in activity too. In 1914, 140 students studied in those schools of the village. Three churches have been preserved in the village, the oldest of which is Avak St. Nashan, or Church of Nahataka. The inscription on the church is typical of the 11th and 12th centuries. The other is St. Astvatatin Church of Getashen, and is located in the center of the old district, and the first church is known as Kusana Desert, Kusana's Church of Holy Mother. Several historical monuments have also been preserved around the village. The monastic complex known as Monastery of Yelanasa, located on the northern Armenian hillside at the foot of the forest, about two kilometers to the south of Getashen. In 1991, Baku's cooperation with the Soviet Army undertook the monastery's task of forcibly evicting the Armenian population of Getashen. The struggle for existence, which started at the end of April, lasted for a week, but in the condition of a very unequal balance of power, people of Getashen were really from their homeland. The last Armenian resident left the village in 1991 on May 7. 
This time, the Holy Church of Hambartum in Berzor was completely destroyed by Baku, the construction of which was completed in 1998. And the cross of the dome was consecrated on May 31 of the same year. The Independent Academic Platform of Monitoring the Cultural Heritage of Artsakh warns about this. The architect of the church was Radja Gasparyan, and the construction was led by Georgi Arakelian. The first of the artistic decoration of the church were the famous sculpture art dashes of Sepian, artist Karo Makorchan, with worker Vano Dadoya, and others. Since 2021, the public organization for the protection of monuments of Baku presented the project to turn the church into a mosque. The destruction of the church was a deliberate step. The enemy notes that in 1998, the Armenian barbarians built a self-construction in the form of a church in Lachin. After the liberation of Lachin from the Armenian occupation, the Armenian tried to incite into religious enmity by the inventing stories that the Baku authorities were going to turn the church into a mosque. The result is logical. Illegal self-construction has been eliminated. It should be emphasized that this is not the first case that Azerbaijan destroyed church. It is a serious violation by Article 4 of the Hague Convention of 1954 and in addition Article 15 of the Second Protocol adopted in 1919 which has a war crime can be prosecuted in international courts. The deliberate destruction of the church also violates Article 8 of the Rome Statute and is considered a grave crime against humanity. The destruction of Holy Church in Berger is also a genocidal act. As part of the Days of European Archaeology program, an exhibition entitled History of a Dragon Stone was opened in Metamor Historical Archaeological Reserve Museum. The Dragon Stone, dating back to the free first millennium BC, is located in the country art of the Metamor Museum. It was found in the real Lechashen village. Dragon stones are unique to the Armenian highlands, the height of which reach up to five meters. They have the shape of a fish or a ball. There are also those in the shape of a snake and a stalk. Dragon stones were found mostly in high mountain tops near springs, lakes, and reservoirs. Dragon stones are of great interest not only in Armenian but also in international archaeology. The 23rd Competition Festival of Orthodox Church Music Hainovka was held in Poland. The year went to chamber choir under the direction of Kristina Voskanian, artistic director and choir director, participated in the competition festival from Eastern Armenia as part of the National Chamber Music Center. The choir won the first prize in the professional choirs category, and it should be noted that only the first prize winners of previous year participated in the competition festival. Our country was invited to participate in this year's festival as an honor Choir, which won the first prize in 2022. This was all for today. Goodbye.